I woke up feeling good for some extra reason. I don't know if it's the coffee or if it's just these positive vibes floating around, but I am really hyped up. It could be the coffee. So I'm sitting in the barbershop. Oh, and the and the nut and this is the this this is the most this is the greatest. And oh, tip number two. Back, back, backing it up. I'm the king of talking and then backing it up. I ain't gonna lie, I be talking a lot of shit. I be backing it up though, man. What's up, y'all? It's your boy A Fisher, and we back like cook, crack, oh, oh. And today we gonna talk about headlines. <laughs> you know, I'm so glad and thankful that I woke up this morning and that my headline was the same as it was yesterday. It didn't leave me. It's still here with me. We're still rocking together. I just hope that it can continue to have the same energy for the whole 2019 because. Boys out here looking real sad. And there's a lot of people out there who have line receding. Yo, when you get to the point to where you gotta put your chin in your neck just to take a selfie, it's time to let it go, brother. It's okay to rock a baldy. I mean, some of the greatest people in the world got baldies. Jordan is, is a baldy. Tupac was a baldy and a nose ring. And nobody ever questioned his authority. It's cool to be bald. And stop putting y'all bald in these compromising positions because they not gonna say, yo, you're going bald. It's better than just go bald. They just gonna cut you. I'll tell y'all a quick story about the time I was in the barber shop, right? So I'm waiting to get my hair cut by my barber and in walks this old man, right? So the guy asked him, hey, what do you want? And he replied, oh, just give me a fade and um, just go ahead and line it up. Now, when he said line it up, I was shocked because he had no hair. He was rocking full on George Jefferson. And I'm thinking in my mind, how can you line that up when there's nothing there? So as my curiosity grew stronger and stronger, I made sure I keep my eyes on him so I could see what's going on. And just like he said, he trimmed it low he faded the sides and he lined his head. Receding and everything, boy, still out here going strong. I take that back. If you want to do that, be my guest. But if you hear Snickers when you walk off, they probably laughing at you. See, I'm not that mean. I would never laugh at you behind your back. I will always laugh at you in front of your face. Even some of the best trees during the winter time, lose their leaves. Nature wins, okay? Now, there are some cases to where we manipulate nature. Case in point, Beijing. Stop doing this, stop doing this. I'm gonna be honest with you, I really don't care about my hairline because I'm married with two kids, but I just hope I don't get a divorce because it's gonna get hard for me. I say I probably got like three more years left. So, in the meantime, I'm rocking all kid hairstyle. I ain't gonna lie. Like five years ago, I rocked the mohawk just to say, yo, I done something different before it was time to go. Look, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips when you go into the barbershop. Now, always remember this because if you don't, it could end bad for you. Tip number one, don't ever get your hair cut by the dude that's standing next to the door. So he wanna be the first person that you see come in, what you're looking for, what you need. Now, he probably will get mad and aggravated. Now, if he do, you know you did a good thing. Cause if you let that man in your head, it's gonna be a situation. And oh, tip number two, when going to the barber shop, never get your hair cut by a bald head barber. That's like trusting a dude with one goal. I'm just saying, like a dude with one goal is sketchy to me. And a bald head barber is even worse. Whatever you do, don't even look him in his eye. Don't even make eye contact with him. Cause he will try to solicit his chair to you. Look, if my hairline goes any further, further than what it is right now, I'm totally done. Finish him. I remember the first time my hairline receded and, I, and, it, and it started from a bad haircut. The barber pushed me back further than I anticipated. And I sat there and waited for weeks in, for it to grow back and I seen nothing, not even a sprout. And I started to think like, man, wait a minute. I gotta be careful because, you know, at this rate, three or four bad haircuts, I'm out of there. Somebody once told me that fresh air reduces hair loss. Now, I don't know how true this is, but the next time you see me riding down the street with my head out the window like Ace Ventura, 
just mind your business. We working. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you was here with me, and I really, really appreciate it. So make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe. And it's your boy, A Fischl. I'm out. Ooh, it went from zero to 100 real quick. Y'all better get y'all mind right, nigga. Planet Fitness, I've been hitting that hoe up. Planet Fitness calling my name, you know what I'm saying? The best part of waking up is folders in your cup. You saw the way I carried that note. For, the, for like a split second, nigga, I could sing. For like a half a quarter of a second, I was in there. Yo, I'm more than qualified to talk about this subject because my hairline too suffers from loss. Okay? My hairline ain't all... So, the first sign of recession. When I be in a room shooting with all these lights on, my next door neighbors probably be thinking I be doing a poem. Where are them lights coming from in your room? Mind your fucking business. Yo, I'm more than qualified to talk about this subject because my hairline too suffers from loss. Okay?